This video is called On The Line. What do I mean by on the line? Hey, R.A.P., does that mean the season's on the line? Like, if the Vikings don't win this game, then it's officially, officially over? No, it was officially over a couple weeks ago, right? When we decided to keep fumbling the ball, this team just decided to throw the season away early and often, right? Early and often. The same way how the ball just kept popping out, that was our season just rolling on the turf while the opposing team just jumps on top of it and smashes it, right? That's how I feel right now. And I'm sure I can speak for a lot of us Vikings fans. I think that this game going up against the Chicago Bears this Sunday is more about your integrity on the line, right? And look, the fan base, if we lose this game, like you have fans that already, like me, believe that there's no chance that we're making a push this season. I mean, this team just doesn't look ready. This team's not disciplined. It lacks leadership. There's just a lot of things that aren't playing in our favor. But if you lose this game against the Bears, after everybody talks about how bad they are, they just, Justin Fields isn't this, that, and the third. I'm going to tell you right now, the Bears have played two really good football games the past two weeks. All right? They took it to the wire with the Broncos. Now, the Broncos aren't a good football team, but I'm going to tell you, hey, Justin Fields actually looked pretty good the first half of that game, really three quarters of that game. He looked pretty good. And then you got the Thursday night that we all seen when they went out there and handled business against the Washington Commanders, who have a really good defensive line. And, you know, their defense as a whole isn't horrible, okay? It's something they can definitely apply some pressure. So we look at it like, hmm, the Bears aren't as bad as we think they are going into this game, all right? So I think that the Bears probably are a couple steps better than the Carolina Panthers. Okay. And I want to talk about how we played the Carolina Panthers and put that with us going against the Bears. Because if we play any way like we played against the Carolina Panthers, we're not winning this game. Okay. Although Justin Fields, to me, isn't a good NFL quarterback, I just think he lacks the knowledge of plays developing and on top of him having to run so much his rookie season. I think it's embedded in his head that he has happy feet now and he rather run when he senses pressure. He's not even going to look at the play anymore. He's just going to get up out of there. Although it seems like he's been doing better the past couple of weeks. I'm going to tell you right now, he's not Bryce Young. I think he's a little bit more smarter than Bryce Young when it comes to understanding the speed of the football game due to the fact of he's been in the league a couple of years now. But if we go in there with that lousiness, and yes, they're going to have the Dick Buckus you know they're going to have the moment of silence. They're going to show highlights on the Megatron, and it's going to be a buildup into that game. This is the first home game back since then, since that sad news, and they're going to be ready. They're going to be ready to come out, and they probably feel like their season is semi-still alive, if you, if you ask me. I think that they got some energy. The way they played Thursday night, they played to win that. They're, I don't see uh, let's just tank in the Bears, right, because they don't really have an initiative. They have Carolina Panthers first round pick and they know that the Panthers aren't going to be good whether they try or not. OK, so they're in a good position regardless. They can come out there and molly whop the Minnesota Vikings. And guess what? It's going to hurt us a lot more than us losing to the Chiefs, us losing to the Chargers, because then the fans who do have the optimism, because there still is some out there who looked at this part of the schedule as, OK, we're going to beat the Bears, lose to San Fran, and then we'll win four more in a row. Well, I think if the Bears, if we go into Chicago and the Bears handle business against us, that's going to be the dagger for you, them fans. If that's you, that's fine. You know, because again, I rather the Vikings win. I want them to win. But we have to make sure that we play Vikings football. And going up against DJ Moore, the way he played, I could see him cooking Byron Murphy if Byron Murphy doesn't step up because Byron Murphy has to show us more. And I'm going to tell you right now, I could see him having another great game. The running game's on point right now. Hey, look, I'm going to tell you, this game is going to go down to the wire, that's for sure, because, again, the Vikings do not have the personnel or I just feel like they don't have the drive to actually punish a team. Like, we don't apply punishment. 
Okay, we're going to let every team come down to the wire and at least give them a chance. Even if we're winning the game, we will give the opposing team an opportunity to beat us when it all balls down at the end. We will. We will. We'll find a way. We can go up by three touchdowns in the first half. And by the end of the game, it will come down to the wire. I can guarantee you that. So I'm going to put it like this, man. I want I want to know how y'all feel about this Bears game. Do y'all think that we're just going to go in there and just dominate the Bears? Because in my opinion, I don't think so. I don't think that our team is much better than the Chicago Bears right now. OK, you can look at our names and on paper, shout out to my boy Yogi on paper. Yes, we look better, but we haven't been able to put it together on the field where it matters. OK, so the Bears, we have no right to really diss and talk about the Bears, because guess what? We're not much better. And the records show that we ain't any better. And guess what? We're going to settle it on Sunday. And I'm going to tell you right now, as of today, as of today, I don't have the Vikings winning this game. Listen, Justin Jefferson not being available, that's going to do something to the mental of some of these players. Hopefully it doesn't affect Kirk Cousins and he still realizes he has Jordan Addison, spread him the ball, TJ Hawkinson hopefully steps up, you know, KJ Osborne. We're going to have to depend. We have no choice, all right? We're going to have to depend on these guys. This is their time now. Okay, and it's going to take about two or three of them to step up to make up what for what Justin Jefferson can provide for us each and every Sunday. So we'll see what happens, man. I got us losing a close one, 21-24. I'm going to keep it real. I got us losing a close one, but that may change, man. I don't know, man. We got to see right now. This team hasn't showed me anything to have confidence, although I still love this team. Still, I mean, listen, I'm so glad I'm a fan of this team. This team brings me joy, but it also brings me heartache. And that's what it's been doing the past month and a half. And hopefully it doesn't continue, but I don't see no light at the end of the tunnel at this moment. But the bright side before we go is we should be able to get our franchise quarterback. Drop it down in the comments. Let me know how you feel. Appreciate y'all tapping in. Holla at your boy. Yeah. Smooth summer. Who running? I hear them talking, but they ain't gonna do nothing. Celebration, I might have a toe switch. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great, I'm touring. We ain't taking no losses, we winning. Undefeated, check the percentage. 